Hello everyone! Welcome back to the Classic We Told, where Singapore festivals unfold. Today, we will share with you the story of Nian. A long, long time ago, in a province far, far away in China, there lived a group of villagers by the foot of a mythical mountain. It was said that magic lives in the mountain and there were many strange looking creatures in it. These creatures have a mix of different animals on them. Can you imagine a dragon head with a lion's body? Or how about a unicorn with the body of a lion and paws of a bear? Well, the creature we are going to talk about is beyond any of the above. It is known as one of the fiercest creatures in the world. He is Nian Shou. Nian Shou is a young and fun-loving creature who likes to play with the other animals in the mountains. He is big and clumsy. If you don't know him, you might even think that he is a man-eating beast. During the winter, most of his friends would hibernate to prevent getting frozen to death. Nian Shou, being blessed with the scales of a dragon, is unafraid of cold. However, he would be mostly all alone. One day, while roaming around looking for things to play, Nian Shou spotted the villagers at the bottom of the mountain. He heard some children playing with snow. Oh, it must be fun! Feeling bored and free, he decides to join the kids to play. Hi children! Oh, I love children! <laughs> the kids stopped, looking at each other in shock. The kids screamed and ran back to their homes. Soon, the news spread about Nian Shou who roams out from the mountains to eat children. Nian Shou was sorry that he might have scared the children with his sudden appearance. However, he was still curious about this village that he newly found. He learned that the village is typically quieter at night. And so, he decided to explore the place at night, hoping that it would not cause an alarm. True enough, the streets of the village were practically empty. Most of the people had gone to bed. Nian Shou went around sniffing and sensing the streets of the village, experiencing the wonderful life of humans through their scent. Just then, an equally curious little girl who could not sleep saw Nian Shou and started following behind him without him knowing. She started giggling after seeing how clumsy Nian Shou was tripping over his tail at every corner he turns. Nian Shou heard the giggle and turned around to find out what it was. Hi, my name is Ling. What's yours? Oh! Nian Shou was shocked to see a kid in the middle of the night. He quickly composed himself. Hi, I am Nian Shou. You can call me Nian. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night, Ling? Like you, I'm curious. Everyone in the village said that you were fierce and scary and you loved to eat children. Is that true? Perhaps I was born looking fierce and scary, but I'm mostly fun and play. I love children, but I don't think they will taste good. I eat mostly vegetables. Oh, my favourite colour is red. What's yours? Mine's red too. It makes me excited and happy. And I love music and dancing. This is great. The whole village got misunderstood and they thought that you are a child-eating monster. Now, everyone is mostly afraid to walk on the street, especially at night. Misunderstood indeed. And the news of the Nian Shou who eats children spread far and wide to the other villagers in the country. In fact, the news got so twisted that some even said that he sold the entire village in one mouth. Some said that the dragon scales that kept him warm have medicinal value and help people to stay young forever. Meanwhile, Ling manages to explain to everyone in her village about this misunderstanding. Soon, they were all happy to have their children play with him. In fact, they were so sorry that they decided to throw a surprise party for him. 
everyone decided to decorate their homes in red to welcome him. They hid in their houses, waiting for him to appear. As usual, the night came and Yen Chou popped into the village, only to find it unusually quiet. He roamed along the familiar streets to look for his friends. Then suddenly, everyone dashed out of their houses, making music in their pots and pans. Some even prepared firecrackers to have up the party. Yen was surprised, but soon started dancing with the music made from pots and pans. Just when the party was about to end, a group of hunters from the neighbouring village appeared, wanting to kill Nian Shou and skin his dragon scales. Hoping to protect Nian Shou from this nightmare, a wise old man in the village made up a story to scare these hunters. Nian Shou is too strong to be hurt by your hunting weapons. Don't bother trying. You will only be eaten by him. Alive! Alive. The hunters, daunted by the old man's words, trembled in fear. Uh, I think we can forget about killing him. So many have tried and failed. Uh, let's hurry back to our families. Uh, thank you, sir, for your kind advice. You saved us from our demise. And as they turned their backs and decided to return home, one of them asked, Sir, then why are you guys hitting pots and pans, setting firecrackers, having your houses all decorated in red with so much laughter. The old man fumbled a little, but quickly composed himself. There is no way mere mortals like us can defeat Nian Shou. However, we found a method to chase him away. There are four things that he hates, and these will drive him away from your village. Listen carefully. He hates red. So, decorate your houses in red and he will never enter. He hates noises. So, play loud music with your pots and pans. He hates fire. So, set your firecrackers and keep your village bright. And lastly, he hates laughter. So, stay happy and crack as many jokes as you can. The hunters duly noted the old man's advice, went back and started spreading his message. From then on, villagers began to dress in red and decorate their houses during this period. They also keep their village bright and noisy by throwing parties on the street to keep Nian Shou away. Soon, this became a practice by the Chinese that we call Guo Nian, passing of the Nian, which means the period where they need to tie through the danger of Nian, a scary looking creature is actually fun and loving. In the past, Singaporeans would also use firecrackers to celebrate the new year. However, it was banned due to the dangers that it can cause. So, to keep the festive spirit alive, Chingge, a street parade, was held annually. Be sure to catch it with your loved ones live this year! I hope you liked the twist. Before we go, I would like to wish all of you a very prosperous and happy Lunar New Year. Now that the story has been told, join us again for another classic retold.